Kevin, we're here in Chicago, homeless. Tell me about it. Um, well, right now I'm living at a, a shelter, and it's really nice. Like I like it here. You know I mean, it's better than where I used to be. You know, it's me. I prefer it more than you know, staying on the on the red line. You know, like. We hear this red line, you know, the red line, purple right, line. Right, you're sleeping on the train, right? Yeah, well, not sleeping. It's just, like, napping. Right. You know what I mean? Because you can't fall asleep because, you know, some guy end up coming up to you and, you know, doing some weird stuff. You wake up and, like, you know, ice bath with, like, stitches down your side or something. Oh, you know, geez. you got no kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's an urban legend, though. Yeah, no. Nah. No, nah, it's... Oh, um, at first it was hard, you know? Like, I got kicked out from my mom's crib when I was younger. Yeah. You know, and How old I, were you? Like 15 going on 16. Then, you know, I moved around with like family members and, you know, friends. But, you know, friends going to keep you out of their house for like so long until they start telling you, like, what's up, man? You going to leave or something? Yeah. You know, and. Couch surfing is hard. Yeah. You know, and, and after like a year when I turned 17, 18, around that time, my dad wanted me to move in with him. And I moved in with him, you know. I, me and my daddy, we don't have a good relationship is uh i don't know it's a lot of this is like we put a lot a lot of our uh conflicts and feelings in a bottle but a bottle can, can only be made so big you know it just takes one little push to break it you know and you know everything exploded and words came and you know words that you can't say you know some things you can't bring take back you know and we hurt each other and we, i got kicked out you know but i don't know you know, you strive to learn from your mistakes, right? So where'd you go when you got kicked out? Well, I man, he kicked me out in the middle of the night. So isn't it like, I didn't have time to pack or, you know, go to people's house, you know, call them or anything, tell them where I'm at, you know. I was, I w I was just walking around, you know, just busting time and anything. But, um... And then you, you know, found this place? No, um, it was like, a month before I found this place, you know, because um, I was doing a, a coordinating arts program at the time, and I didn't want my uh, home status to affect it or like, you know, people. So you're still going to school? Yeah, right now I am. I'm in high school. Awesome. Yeah, but um, it was a summer program, you know, I signed up before I got kicked out. Right. And, you know, I didn't want to ruin my status or, you know, people like, look at me different because I'm homeless or anything. Right. You know, and we were doing a final presentation, you know, cooking for the mayor, you know, because it's after school matters program, so it's a right. Chicago wide, uh, you know, everybody in Chicago knows it, you know, it started off with Mayor Daly, Maggie Daly and everything. And Rob Emanuel, we came down and catered for him, you know, and awesome. uh, they told they told me, Kevin, uh, you got your, uh, you got dress shoes, dress pants. I'm like, no, I, I don't got any of my clothes. I'm like, why, what happened? And she's like, and I told her that I don't live in my house. She's like, where do you stay? I'm like, anywhere. And she, it's a pretty nice lady, you know, she really helped me out, you know, finding this place and, you know, I'm really glad she did because, you know, honestly, I, 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 I couldn't see myself that long, you know, doing what I was doing. You know what I mean? Because I finally told her, <clears throat> I finally told her how, um, what happened because, you know, like two days before that, you know, I had my bags, I was walking around and I, I, I slept near a church, you know, under a cross, you know, God watch over me. Yeah. You know, and, and like I said, I don't days off, you know, like I don't go to sleep because, you know, someone creep up on me. Right. So I had my big duffel bag right. on me, and I, you know, I sat on top of it because, you know, the ground hurts. Right. And I had my two bags right there next to my leg, so, you know, if anybody grabs it, I, you know, if anybody tries grabbing it, I'll feel it. Yeah. You know, but I did a mistake, and I did fall asleep. And I woke up, and there was, there, I woke up, and I didn't have my bag because, you know, my leg hit the wall. And I look up, and there's a guy right there looking through my stuff, and run, he ran off with my bag. You know, oh, and, I, and I had most of my important clothing in there, you know, like, yeah. you know. And it happens to everybody who's doing street homelessness. You get, you know, you fall asleep, you lose your stuff. Yeah. Or yeah. you fall asleep and the cops come and wake you up. Yeah, and you know, like, the hardest things about being homeless is, you know, it's the simple things, you know, like, we're going to find a place to go take a piss or something, go take a, you know, do number two. And that's really hard, you know, like, you know, during the day, you know, you can't go into a store and like, can I use your washroom? Be like, you gotta buy something, you know? Right. You know, they don't have public bathrooms and, you know. So you're gonna be a chef? Me? Yeah, you're doing the culinary arts school. You yeah. Told me I interrupted you cooking chicken wings. Oh uh, yeah, well, um, it's more like a really good hobby I have. Yeah. You know, like cooking is a really high competitive thing. And you know, I, 
I, like I said, I'll probably categorize it as a hobby or something, you know? What's your future like? What's my future like? Um, honestly, I can't say. You know what I mean? Like, I've, uh, I've been in so many places, in so many situations, and just like in the past last three years, you know? So thinking ahead, like even a year is impossible, you know? Because every day is a struggle. Every day is a, is a battle, you know? Like, You'll make it, man. Yeah, and I, this, I, I wish I got this wake up call when I was your age. Yeah, and it, it really is a wake up call. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't, I wasn't doing right. You yeah. know, like when I was younger, that's why I got kicked out of my mom's house because, you know, I was sneaking out. You know, doing drugs, and yeah. my mom she was busting her ass with two jobs, and you know me, I was 15 and dumb and on drugs and shit. You know, and I kind of wish the stuff I knew right now I knew back then. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now I'm 18, I'm my own adult, no one could look after me. You know, I have to take care of myself. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Three wishes? Three wishes. Oh man, for my family to be safe, you know. Um, tell, my, tell my family how I, like, how I really messed up because, you know, I know inside how I feel, but I know I can't bring up to words to them, you know, to tell them you know, what's wrong with me and, you know, what's my problem? You know, it's just one of those things that you hide. And that's what I do, I hide. Like, I hide from my problems and, like, I run away from it. You know, and it's not healthy. Third wish. Third wish? Man. <sighs> that's a pretty hard one. My third wish probably be, um, I have no idea. I'll probably give it to somebody. I'll probably give it to somebody. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. All right, nice talking to you too.